Or like, Earl, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm an overworked, underslept, single mom. I got two kids waiting in the car. It's illegal. Because of you, I am going to go home and eat ice cream. Like, there is wild abandon. I do not think it is ever an appropriate moment for you to be asking a woman if she is pregnant, unless she is crowning. Are we clear, Earl? Are you stressed? What? <laughs> I feel fine. And welcome back to the Two, two Tired, Tired Mom, mom show. show. Hey, everybody. It's hey. Carrie. And Sue. And welcome back to the, the Two, two Tired, Tired Mom, mom Show. show. I'm trying to look less tired. I put on blue mascara for you. Like I, we have this light, and I'm just yeah. Like if you only knew like, what we're going through technologically, like, uh, we need an intern. Off. Not only do we mm -hmm. need sponsors, I need an intern. Someone uh, over the age of twelve, right? That'd be great. Under the age of thirty, mm -hmm. uh, who wants to come hold the lights yes. for us? That'd be great. Or just yeah. like tell us when when it, we look soft, sallow. <laughs> uh, yeah. My thirteen year old won't do it. No. Lucy. I know. Uh, I had an interesting conversation with my 13 year old yesterday. Tell me. She thinks she ate her twin in the womb. Oh no. Yeah, because she was 11 pounds. <gasps> and so she's like, I ate my twin in the womb. I'm like, that's not exactly how it works, even yeah. though you were super fat. Can't they get uh, absorbed? No. Well, okay, so which brings me to our topic mm -hmm. today. Yes. Lies we tell. Lies we tell. I yes. didn't have a scientific explanation for why she was so fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so maybe early on in life, I might have led her to believe that she ate her twin in the womb. I don't know if I said that or mm -hmm. if it she, but I've told my children so many lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just start the ball rolling. Go you guys, uh, soda stunts your growth. Okay, that. And okay. your hair will not grow. Wait, aspartame? I feel like there might be some truth to that. Sure. Hold Even though mommy drinks it all the time okay. and then I go, look at me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be 5'2"? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. And then I've also lied to them, letting them know that they have a fighting chance to be over 5'2". Right. And their right. dad and is 5'8". Right. Oh, my husband's 5'8". He's 5'8". And I'm 5'4". Eight. Eight. And we, you know, In there heels. is a thing you can do. You can add their inches and and your your inches and your husband's inches. And um, for a girl's height, to judge the girl's height, not getting this thing, you subtract 7. And for a boy's height, you add. Do you think it works? Have you tried yours? Um, we've tried, like, both of his. Okay. Yeah. But if you tried someone who's grown up to be like, did it work? No. But I mean, that would hurt. I'll bring I up the whole daddy thing. I don't know my biological I father's just, height. The minute I said because, that, I was like, Susie um, doesn't have a dad. Yeah. Because how I found him was by hiring a private investigator. And, well, you should True have story. records. True story. No, I don't. You should have records on your dad. Hmm. So, yeah, huh. speaking of lies. Oh, yeah, so many. What are you going to tell your kids about grandma? So... Oh, I mean, I'll be totally honest about that. Okay. See, see, I don't have a problem being honest about the big stuff. Like, but my life, like, I told to wean her, I was like, "You have to, mommy's milk. You, you, you're gonna drink it all at lunchtime or at dinner time. So choose." And the, and the thing about Susie that you need to know mm -hmm. is she feeds her children breast milk till they enter grade school. Mm -hmm. So um, they have conversations right. about breastfeeding. Totally. My theory is if you're old enough to ask for it. You need to walk away. That was my mom's. That's when she stopped nursing me. But my biggest lie ever that I'm willing to share. That you didn't get but, Botox at 27. Right. But like I so what's your biggest to not lie. lie. And you know me. Yeah, you freak it's, out it's, when you lie. Uh, yeah, I don't like to do it at okay. all. But when I was a little girl, okay. never will never forget. Okay. So I was an Annie and I played Duffy, who has a verse line. Duffy's sassy. Mm -hmm. She's she is sassy. sassy. Okay. I know. And so um I it's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Santa kids is we get kicked. Woo, real high. I know it. Real high. The whole song. Real high. No one cares. I don't know that one. What's the one with a drunk lady in it? Oh, okay. This tells you a lot about my personality. When I was a little girl, Carol Burnett, Miss Hannigan, I sang along with Carol Burnett, Miss Hannigan, and wanted to be Miss Hannigan. Drunk and time to go. Little oh girls, little girls, everything. everything I this little. little, and I was eight, wanting to be Carol Burnett. Well, that's so weird because when I prolific. left Greece at eight, I wanted to be Rizzo. Oh yes. Anybody who wanted to be Sandy, I know. not my friend. No. So I did love her outfit at the end. Um, sure. So I was Duffy. I was made. I was in fifth grade, so I must have been ten years old. And I had auditioned to be an Annie mm -hmm. with the Buena Park Community Theater. It's huge, um, huge, huge there. And so I, for some reason, it was the day that everyone had. It was a dress rehearsal day, sure. right? So, but you know, seeing a mom, mom was busy. We didn't know there was a calendar that was probably supposed to take it home, and it no. ended up like in the junk drawer. I'm that mom. And so, um, so I get there, you know, 
And I get dropped off and run in. Were you in your little duffy and outfit? No, because I didn't. I forgot my costumes. So all the other little girls are walking up, like with their costumes. That their and moms are supposed to like make or remember to bring. Oh, okay. you know, because and I'm. I mean, this was a big deal. This community theater. It's one of our community theater. Um, and so Civic Light. <laughs> <laughs> light opera. Look it up. What a park. <laughs> and so I remember like looking around and be like, why does everyone have their, have their stuff? With them? I don't have <gasps> It's called dress rehearsal for it's a reason. It's dress rehearsal. And so I was terrified of the director, Ruth Walt. Ruth Walt. God rest her soul. She did pass. Um, but terrified of her. And just in general, I never like getting in trouble. Yeah, you're and always so, terrified of drama directors. I am. Yeah, and so I, um, I wanted, you know, because it was triple casted for the role of Annie, because we were like nine, and so, ten, and so I, I know that one of the girls isn't playing Annie that day, and she okay. had a dentist appointment. She's got some time. Of course, because hands. you have a dentist appointment. It's, She's got some time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, well, can I use your, your costume to be Duffy? To, you know, because it was all the same costume. Yeah. So I'm like, can I use your costume so I don't get in trouble? Right, yeah. Right? And um, so she's like, oh, yeah, sure. I think, oh, gosh, I remember her so well. Like, she was sweet looking, but frizzy hair. Sarah. You know, um, yeah, something like that. <laughs> totally so something happened? like that. Sarah or Amber. What happened? And, um, so we, I make it through the whole show. Honestly, the whole show. In we are Sarah's at costume. In Sarah's costumes. Okay, great. We were at the very, very end. And, you know, when everyone's singing the final yeah. thing, I see her. From yeah. the back of the yeah. uh, theater, What's from? come in and walk right up to Ruth Walt, and Say. and they and Ruth is saying because I can hear because it's smells yeah. um, go put on your costumes. Homegirl can't put on her costumes. I'm wearing the costume. Wear the costume. And so um, I see this girl, <laughs> like here's talking to Ruth Walt. She's like, like like slow mo. <laughs> So I, and that's rather why than you're in getting therapy. in trouble, right. I sprint off the stage making like, oh, 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 like vomiting sounds. I run into the bathroom. I lock the door, continue with the vomiting, you know, like Did I'm vomiting. Did you think that vomiting was going to be a good reason that <laughs> yes, you stole no, the costume? Yes, no, what's so amazing is because I'm a little girl that's vomiting and I right. come out crying. And, I, all, hey. and like all the older girls, you know, because there were teens that were like, oh no, Susanna, oh, are you my okay? God. And then everyone was like, oh my God. You're like, and by the way, here's your costume. And fine. And so, so they call my mom, and I'm just, you know, in the field oh position, rocking because I'm so Cause sick. And they call actor. my mom, and um, my mom comes and picks up her, and her friend comes pick me up, and then they, you know, take me home and they check my temperature. And my mom, my poor single, my mom, my single mom, who was a public school teacher, not a lot of extra money, had to get the girls all of her costumes dry cleaned. <laughs> and um. And then I got to miss the next day of rehearsal because I was so ill. You know, I don't think I even had to go to school the next day. I mean, and um, I held that. I maybe told my mom like four or five years ago. I mean, I isn't that? Um, I mean, for a ten-year-old, that's very the creative. deception. Well, I started lying and didn't stop. I mean, uh -huh. I lied all through seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I told everyone at Dearborn Christian uh -huh. Dutch Reform School. Oh, no. That, Ooh, I, was, yeah, that I was dating Corey Feldman from the Goonies long distance because my dad my dad set us up. All right. These girls didn't get out much. <laughs> and so seventh grade, I kept this going for like six mm -hmm. years. They're like, how's Corey? I'm like, well, he's like busy. And so then I, okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I I had to back up my lie because right. they were starting to call me on it. All right. They're like, so, where's Corey? So, and then, and then I also said I was best friends with Ki Hu Kwan who played Data. And so I remember going down in my basement in Dearborn, uh -huh. Michigan, and uh -huh. getting the yellow pages uh -huh. and looking up Feldman, right? Because there's you no know, Feldmans. And I realized that was just Detroit. So I called, for, was it 411? Like yeah, 411. Hi, it's Carrie Pomeroy. I was wondering if you had the name of Corey <laughs> Feldman, Feldman in LA. Just a couple. Are there number? any Feldmans? Do people ever call uh, us for that? You can't find Do you have Kihu Kwan? Do you have any Asians in LA? So I actually tried to get their number so I could back up. Like, That's amazing. So I could make good on the line. Yeah. So fast forward. Fast forward, my book comes out a million years ago in my 20s. My first book, If I'm Waiting on God, What Am I Doing? The Christian chat room plug. My publicist, as a surprise to me, called Corey, Corey Feldman. Feldman. He came to my book party. He read a chapter. I wrote a chapter about him in my book. He read the chapter. God bless Corey. He wore sunglasses. I wore my sunglasses at night. He wore sunglasses. He hit on my friend Christia. Uh, I was engaged at the time. And so it was kind of a full circle moment. That's amazing. That the lie paid off. We yes. did date. 
It, it went crazy. in a book. Uh, I just wonder if kids like us were meant to be creative know. types because I was, I, I lied. Oh my gosh, in college, I couldn't pass this one like uh, mm -hmm. construction theater. I mm -hmm. didn't care about it. Yep. So I told Burke Cardulo that I had chronic fatigue syndrome. And that's why I was <laughs> always, that's why I was always in sweatpants because it was yeah. hard for me to get dressed. And he like put his arm around. He oh was like, gosh. I'm just like hashtag me too. Probably I didn't even know. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know. He was like, it's He's okay. Like, it's, it's okay. okay. You're okay. fine. It's okay. I, you're it's fine. Okay. You're totally going to pass this Come class. to my office. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> that I said your name. Maybe it actually didn't happen. It was all in my head. Sorry. A little nerd. Uh, so I, just, I just couldn't. I mean, and then now I've just continued the path when I don't want to do something with my kids. Uh, not like in moral ways, but if my kids, I just, um, I don't know. I mean, I just sort of wing it. Like I'm like, soda's really bad for you. Yeah. And like, uh, I th I don't. I think I I think people lie for self preservation, right? Or I lie cool. for to get out of situation. Right. So like for some reason, I would lie about silly things as a kid. So I carried around a tampon in my backpack. How old were you? Fifth grade. Okay. But we, you know, we, you know, in in my fifth grade, we would the girls would go to like one the auditorium, and yeah. the boys would go somewhere yeah. else, and we'd watch a video. And How I want to get a called tampon. And Amy's story. Well, because my mom. Is. Oh, okay. Um, Amy's story or, or something. Okay. And I I remember watching it, and then all the girls were talking about, yeah, yeah, we have our periods, we have cramps, and in I'm fifth like, grade. Yeah, California milk. California. Um. So did and you like spill like, your purse? Well, no, I, I was it. like. Oh, Am I supposed to have had my period? And everyone else has it but me. And you know you don't want to be. You look. read Are You There Got It to Me, Margaret? Yes, you're supposed <laughs> to have your period. First book I ever so read is Bad Word in. Right. So you, what what happened? Um so I I don't know if this is a full on life, but I just started everyone's talking about cramps. So I was I get cramps and so then from then on, I am not getting I carried a tampon in my backpack. Until eighth grade when, when I you actually did get your period. period. Yes. I, and yeah, I started after all of my younger cousins. That's hilarious. It's, well, when my happening. mother went to parent-teacher conference mm -hmm. in kindergarten back mm -hmm. at Jabra Christian mm -hmm. School, my Aunt Marie would drive me to school in her Lincoln Town car. Mm -hmm. And they said, Barbara, that is so sweet that you have a chauffeur who oh. drops off your daughter. No. Oh, <laughs> yes. I mean, this episode could go uh -huh. on and on. I don't know if I needed attention or uh -huh. what, but I just, I think I was, and I'm like, my lies are impressive. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. when my kids lie, if it's a good lie, mm -hmm. like when Ruby, um, no, when Lucy and Ruby were little, they were mm -hmm. both potty trained. Uh -huh. And I would say, if you go pee pee in this little potty, mm -hmm. you get um, a treat. Mm -hmm. And so I saw my little two and a half year old taking water from the sink and putting it in the potty. Be like, I, I kind of wanted to give her the treat. Where's my M&M? Right. And so, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, other things I lie about. Um, often to- So it's a generational um, thing. My kids to, are no um, to like not hurt anyone's feelings. So when, during college, I worked at Victoria's Secret. I don't know if I, I don't think I've told, you know this story. I worked at, worked at Victoria's Secret. Yeah. I think the night before I had some really like crummy oysters or like oysters from a place where you're like, mm, I probably want to order the row food. The like, half price, the half price. Yeah. Um, and so I, I was like doing cashier work, you know, in college at Victoria's Secret. Right. And this woman walks up to me and she's like, um, are you excited? Oh. <gasps> and I'm like. Um, well, it's only about a hundred times, but yeah. And she's like, "Is it your first? And I'm thinking, like, first job. And then in I college? realized, yeah. And then I realized she, I didn't know I was allergic to gluten, um, so it was a little bloated. And so I then realized that she what thought, she was saying that she thought I was pregnant, which is and I felt so times. bad. And so I was like, "You did not. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. That. So I was like, "Yes, I'm so excited. You and did And she was not. like, "Of course I did." Feeling? I go so Julia Sugar Vapor. No, people. I'm totally the opposite because they don't I am mean like, it. No, they, they mean, mean it. Oh, I they don't got want asked. to ruin their day and they'll think about that forever. Okay, so we're this gonna, is what I was like, what'd you do? I was like, um, yes. you know, yeah. I'm and she's like, how far along are you? And I literally went like this. I looked down and I'm like, three or four months. <laughs> you probably wait a, and you so, probably wait a buck of five. So anyway. I was like, um, who have another story about that? That okay, story. We gotta wrap this and episode so, up. Yeah, part so, two about my mind. But 
that's happened to me again, and I always just go with it. And because I, I don't ruin their day. shame them. Yeah. Like that man in CBS who I told right. you about COVID, yeah. and he goes, "Is are you excited?" And it was COVID, and I go, "Sir, what is your name?" And I think he said Earl. And I mean, I was like Earl. Well, and the car, but I was like, Earl. Oh, it's happened to me so many times. I was like, Earl, I'm going to tell you something. I'm an overworked, underslept, single mom. I got oh. two kids waiting in the car. It's illegal. Because of you, I am going to go home and eat ice cream. Like, there is wild abandoning. I do not think it is ever an appropriate moment for you to be asking a woman if she is pregnant, unless she is crowning. Are we clear, Earl? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very Earl thought about that. Earl probably thought I about that. I was like, yeah. And I, I just like. But I love yeah. talking about all our lives. Mm -hmm. So we should do a yeah. part two. Yep, yeah, but uh, as like we, the biggest lie. I'm yeah, fine. the biggest lie. I'm, 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 I'm okay. I'm morning. But our mm -hmm. show, we're so appreciative yes. of you guys and everything that you're yep. um get all the awesome comments. Yeah, tell us so much. your lies. Yes. Follow us on YouTube, mm -hmm. Too Tired Mom Show. Mm -hmm. Instagram, yep. Too Tired Mom Show. Facebook, Too Tired, Too Tired Mom, Mom show. show. The number two. Too Tired Moms. And we want to hear from you. Yes. And we want to hear your lies, and we want to hear what you think of the show. Yeah. And uh, just anything else you want to share. Yep. Oh, also got some really cute candy. Yes, we'll talk about that on our next episode. Bye. Bye.